Hey, how you guys doing? So today we're gonna talk about whether you should get a graphics tablet for drawing, sculpting, painting, or anything related to digital artwork. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what the graphics tablet brings to the table, what are the pros, what are the cons, I'll show you some examples, and I'll give you a verdict whether you should stick to a mouse or is it worth the upgrade, and finally, I'll give you some recommendations for both the mouse and the graphics tablet. Make sure you watch till the end of the video. Wait, hold up. Let's rewind. What do you get out of a graphics tablet? The first and probably the most important thing about a graphics tablet is the pressure sensitivity. That is something you can't get with a mouse. So by applying different pressure on the tablet, you get to control the amount of strength that goes into the program. So whether it is Blender, ZBrush, Photoshop, or anything else. This tends to have quite the impact when painting and sculpting for both the accuracy of your work and the speed that it takes you to create that artwork. Because characters, for example, can take hours and hours to create. Sadly, with a mouse, you can't really do that. So instead of controlling the pressure with the mouse itself, you're going to have to play around with the value of the strength of the brush using the program every single time you want to make that change. You can imagine how much time is going to be consumed by that and you're still going to lose accuracy at the end of the day. The second thing you get out of a graphics tablet is the natural approach that you get from this pen. So just like drawing with a pencil or using a tool to carve a clay, it's really similar. And that really makes the difference. It makes it more natural to draw, to sculpt, and it makes it even more accurate. I like to compare drawing with a mouse like grabbing a pencil with chopsticks and drawing that way. I know it's a bit of an exaggeration, but you guys get the point. The third thing about the graphics tablet that I prefer over a mouse is the poster. Now that's probably something you never heard before, but it is quite important. By drawing and sculpting for long hours, you tend to have the risk of getting an injury with your wrist. Now you could get injuries from your neck, your back as well. That's something you need to focus on when you're practicing a lot, your posture. The thing with the mouse is first of all, your hand is not leveled. It's usually like this. And this causes strain over here. It also causes strain when you click on the mouse. Even if you get a pad to straighten it up, it still won't be like a tablet because you're gonna use mostly your wrists to move around. With a tablet, you can train yourself to use your whole arm to draw and sculpt. This will reduce the risks of an injury. I think that pretty much covers up most of the main points of a graphics tablet. Now, I didn't go into details with the graphics tablet that has a screen, that has other advantages as well, but also disadvantages that I could probably talk about in another video because I have one. But here are the pros and cons of a graphics tablet. With the graphics tablet, you get more speed, more accuracy, it's better for your posture, and finally, it's more fun to use than a mouse. As for the cons, it's the price and the size. So what is the final verdict? Well, put it this way. Imagine you have to create a character that will take you 8 hours with a tablet. Now to create the same character with the same quality, it'll probably take you double the amount of time, if not more, with a mouse, adjusting the values every time you have to. You probably won't even get the same results, but let's say you do. How precious is time to you? If your time is precious, then it's better to spend that extra time of one character getting a quick job and buying a graphics tablet, which at the end of the day will be more beneficial for you. As for the recommendations, I'm going to add some links in the description below to recommend some tablets and mouse. For the tablets, I will recommend mainly Wacom because I've been using it for a long time. I used a lot of their products and they have all worked perfectly. I'll add in some alternatives if you want to go for something that is cheaper. Finally, for the mouse, I use the Logitech Wireless MX Master, which has a nice weight to it. It's quite precise and it has a nice grip. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And if you want me to make a video, a kind of versus video between the mouse and the graphics tablet by sculpting the same character to show you what happens, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys, ooh, you soon.